I just want to show you the final solution I put together for removing the valve stem seals on an N55. Um, these cylinder heads come with Valtronic equipped, and you can see I've removed the Valtronic um, eccentric shaft. Let me see if I can just light to stay. Um, the eccentric shaft is gone. Uh, the servo motor is pulled out. Um, I did not take the cam out. Um, I just had this out probably about 5,000 miles ago and I know uh, it still looks good. All the lobes look good. Um, the bearings are fine. So uh, I'm not going to take that out if I don't have to. It's just more work. It looks like I can get to the keepers um, from the backside here uh, just fine. And excuse the paper towel but I did not want to lose anything down into the cylinder head because that would suck. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm rotating, I, I put, I just laid this stuff all in place just so that I can rotate the engine without a, a second hand holding the chain up. But um, what I did was I stuffed some rope, did the old school method of stuffing some rope down into the cylinder and then rotating it to put pressure on the, the back side of the valves so that they don't fall down into the, cylind um, the cylinder, not the cylinder head, but the uh, engine. And um, this allows me to change the valve stem seals without needing to take the cylinder head off. So. Uh, back to the MacGyvered tool that I put together here. I just took some 3 8 inch um, all thread and ran it through a fairly thick um, aluminum shelving bracket. Um, I tapped it for threads. I think I got like two or three threads out of it. Uh, this isn't the finest all thread um, I could have used and finest thread, but I figured uh, this would be enough. And it looks like it's holding up fine. The threads haven't pulled out of this plate yet. Um, hopefully they don't before the job finishes, but so far so good. Um, just drilled some holes to mount to the uh, Valtronic ledge. And this plate just sits here. The all thread runs through it at a slight angle into a socket. It's a 15 millimeter that I had laying around. I have a couple extras, so um, I hacked this up. But um, I put a nut on the back side here as well, just in case that these threads do pull out. Um, everything doesn't go shooting through the plate. Um, if those threads do give out, it'll, it'll, that nut will keep all this stuff from shooting up. Um, and it also helps push the socket down. Um, the all thread actually doesn't fit through the top of the socket. Um, if you look at a socket, you'll see that uh, the internal diameter varies. And the all thread is actually wider than the narrowest internal diameter. So I didn't even, you know, you don't even need like a washer or, or you don't even need to thread into this. Um, just, just by running the all thread down, it's, it's pushing down the socket. And then, at the bottom here, you see I cut a window, um, a little window out of the socket to allow access to the keepers. And you can see, it's really hard to see, um, lighting's not that good or anything, but you can see, uh, see those keepers are loose. I just got to pull them out with the magnet and then release the tension on this and pull the, pull the springs off and then replace the uh, valve stem seals. And that's it. Um, this cost me about 10 bucks to put together and, um, you know, it did take me, uh, a little bit of time to tap it for holes and uh, or, or drill it for holes and tap it for threads um, and figure out everything I needed but um, you know it's better than ordering a you know a couple hundred dollars worth of specialty tools and this is working great um, you know it took zero effort you know, I, I, I even you know just notched a little hole for a flathead and to the top but you know, you could get creative with this and, you know, do whatever you want, you know, make it so that you can throw a, um, you know, a socket on the top of here, a ratchet and just, you know, drive it down. Uh, but I just kept it simple. This works. Um, and I used a washer at the bottom there, uh, just the right size, um, to sit on top of the, the spring, but allow the keepers through the top, through the inside of the washer. And, uh, you know, just to, allow that socket to seat flat and um, apply even pressure on the spring. Uh, but that's it. No specialty tools required. Um, about 10 bucks and I will make another video when I have this spring off to show replacing the actual seal.